Did you know that you can 3D print objects that you've made with Vetric Aspire software? I find that a lot of people don't know that, but in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how that can be done. It's very simple to do, only a couple steps. And in this video, we're also gonna be making this custom ornament. I have a template that I made for this. If you wanna make your own, you can find that down below in the description. And then you can download it, follow along with the video, and then 3D print your own. But let's jump into the software and show you how this is done. Down below in the description, we'll have the download link for this template if you wanna use this to follow along, or you can create your own design. But if you use the template, you're going to see something that looks like this. And as you can see, it is a 3D model that I created of a simple ornament with some snowflakes. And then all you have to do is change the name in the center. And I used a custom font for this. I will provide that in the download as well. If you want to learn how to download fonts into Vetric software, I have a separate video on that. You can see the pin video on the screen. I will also put it in the description as well. But as you can see, this is going to be very simple to edit. All you need to do is select the text in the center, go to the draw text tool. And when you have that text tool open, you can now edit this. For this ornament, I'm gonna be making it for my wife and myself. So I'm gonna be typing both of our names here. So I'll do Bella and Kyle. And then you can see the text will automatically adjust as you type it in there. So the more text you type, the more it will auto scale to fit into that box. And then you can adjust the text spacing by clicking in between the letters or in between the words. You can also erase the spaces. Sometimes that will help depending on which font you are using. And then you can also hold the shift key and click in between letters or words to adjust the spacing as well. So you can adjust the text and the font however you'd like. And then once you're done, click close. And this will now be created as your custom text. First off, make sure everything's spelled correctly, of course. And once you confirm that, you are ready to start creating this into a 3D model. This will be the part where you're going to need to have Vetric Aspire to do this. And what you can do is select the text and go to the 3D view. And then you're gonna be using your first tool in the modeling tool set for creating a flat shape. You could use other tools if you want to, but for this one, I'm just gonna do a simple flat shape. And when you select that, it's gonna bring up your flat plane dialog. But you can also do this directly in the 3D view of version 12 and above which makes this really simple to do. All you have to do is find this little button right here underneath the text, and you can either click and drag that up, or you can type in a number directly in this box to be the thickness that you want it to be. For my project, I'm gonna put it 0 0.05 inches and click enter, and that will go to that perfect thickness. You can also see our 2D vectors in the background. You can toggle the visibility of those off by clicking this button up here to turn the visibility of the 2D objects off. Now you can see it just in the 3D view and with the 3D objects, it looks really good. You can adjust this however you need. I'm actually going to scale this down a little bit. It looks a little bit too thick. So I'm gonna go 0 0.03 and that looks a little bit better. And you can also scale down or up the ornament if you like. Once you close this and select the ornament, you can do the same thing here. Adjust the scaling to make it either thicker or thinner. So whatever size you want that to be. I'm gonna undo that to bring it back to where we were. So as you can see, it's really simple. All you gotta do is create your text and give it a little bit of thickness. And now we are ready to go and create this into a 3D printed project. Now, if you don't have a 3D printer, you can of course cut this on your CNC if you really wanted to. But since we created this into a 3D model, we are going to be 3D printing this. And to do that, we need to first export this into a file format that our 3D printer can read. So that's going to be this button right here. In your file operations, it's called export visible model as an STL file. And you're gonna click on that and that's gonna bring up a form to customize how you want this to export. So you can change this tolerance setting. The smaller the tolerance it is, the better quality it's gonna be, but it's also gonna be a larger file size. So you can decide what you wanna do there. You can also do a maximum number of triangles, but for this, the setting I use is 0.0004 inches. 
That for me usually works out pretty good. So I just leave it at that. And then for the back face, we can decide what we want to do with it. You can leave it open with no back. You can close it with an inverted front or you can close it with a flat plane. In this case, I'm going to close with a flat plane. So it's going to be nice and flat on the back side. And you can experiment with those and see which one you like the best. But for 3D printing, this one is going to be the one I want to use. And then you're going to click triangulate. And when you do that, it's going to take everything that's visible in your 3D model and turn it into an STL file. And you can now see that in the 3D view, it's going to be in this blue color showing you what is going to be exported. And it'll show you the exact quality of how it will be exported. So if it doesn't look good in this view, then it's not going to look good when you export it. So make sure you play around with your settings and customize it from here. But once you're happy with how it looks, you're going to click the Save Triangulation button down here at the bottom. When you click on that, that's going to open up your file menu. And in here, you'll just give it a file name. So I'll just put in Christmas ornament and save that. And then you can click Close. And now we are ready to 3D print this with whatever 3D printer software you have. For my printer, I'm using a Bamboo Labs printer. So I'm using their Bamboo Studio software. This will be different depending on which software you're using, but all you basically have to do is import it in here and then set up the print file. So what you can do here is open up a new file, click File, and then Import. And we're gonna import an STL file. You're gonna select that ornament we just made and click Open. This may give you an error message letting you know that it was made in inches and we're working in millimeters in here. So if you want to convert it to millimeters, click yes. And now you can see it will be scaled down to the correct size, whatever size we made it in there, which is about three inches in diameter. And if you wanted to, you can actually change the color of this to basically any filament color that you may have. You can also paint this to have multicolored with the specific 3D printer that I'm using, it allows for multicolored prints. So if you have a printer like that, one simple solution you could do is change your filament color to be whatever background color you'd want. I'm gonna do mine as a green color, and then the text I'm gonna do red. So I can go up here to this paint bucket, click on that, and that's gonna allow me to change the colors of anything I would like to change. There's a couple different options you can do here. You can paint certain areas if you wanted to. But what I'm going to show you is a real simple way to do this with this specific design. And that is this button here called the height range. I can select that, select the color that I want to make the text on top. And then I just have to change the height range of where I want to color it. So I'm just going to click on the surface below the text. And I just have to adjust that a little bit up. So I'm going to click right at the bottom of that text there and try it again. And you may have to click erase all paintings and then try that again, click right below that text. And there we go. Now we have all the text painted that color and even the sides painted that color as well. So now this will print as a multicolored print. When we click the paint bucket again, you can see there is our two colors. Now that this is designed like that, you could still scale it or move it or do anything else you want to it but basically you're ready to print from here you would just click slice plate that would slice the design to make it into a g-code file for your 3d printer and once that is sliced you can now preview it and you can even bring this down just to show you what it would look like layer by layer when it prints and then you can see when it changes colors to the red color It'll also tell you the estimated time. This one is about 42 minutes for this ornament. And then once we're ready, just click print plate and that will send it over to our printer and then we can start printing it. So I'm gonna do that now, send it over to the printer and show you what it looks like. <laughs> Thank you.
Okay, I just got this off the printer. You can see it turned out really good. The only thing I would change is I would make it a little bit thicker. I think it turned out a little bit thin. You can see it's a little bit flexible, but it's still really strong. But other than that, it turned out really good. It's got a nice hole. You can put a ribbon or something on there to hang it. And overall, it looks really great. Not bad for a couple minutes with the spire. And basically you can create anything you want. Any design you can think of, you can design an Aspire. Obviously, Aspire is not made for this. You can find much better software like Fusion 360 or something like that that you can 3D print with. But if you already have Aspire and you're familiar with it, you can quickly make objects like this and print. And this will be a real quick gift that you can make, even as a last minute gift if you really wanted to. So hopefully that gives you some ideas of what you can do with Aspire. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more great tips like this. And if you have any questions, just let me know.